we have to determine the resultant force of these four forces. So we've got the 10, 8, 6, and 7. So when we use the head to tail method, we need to have a starting point. So I'm going to start over here and I'm going to choose the 8 Newton. Oh, but first we should choose a scale. So if I look at the numbers 10, 8, 6, and 7, I can see that a nice scale would be one centimeter is the same as one Newton. I'm going to start off with this 8 Newton force. Now, guys, you need to be careful. This 20 degrees is measured from this line over here. So I would place my protractor like that. And then you would measure 20 degrees going down like that. And so that would give you a little point over there. And then you would want to draw an eight centimeter long line. And so there you can see I've drawn my line. The next one I'm going to choose is going to be the 10 Newton force. Actually, no, I'm going to do the seven Newton force, which goes straight down. And notice that I'm starting at the same place where I just finished with the previous force. And so there I've gone seven centimeters down. The next force that I'm going to do is the 10 Newton. Now the 10 Newton is going at 40 degrees. So I put my protractor at the same place where I just finished with my last force. And then look at how this 40 degrees is measured. It's measured relative to that horizontal. So it's gonna be, I'm gonna measure it from here up to there. And so that's gonna be 40 degrees. And so there I've positioned my ruler. And so now I can do the 10 centimeter line like that. Now the only force that we still have to do is the six Newton force. Now that six Newton force is measured at 10 degrees going down. So I'm gonna put my protractor upside down and I'm gonna place it at the last place that we just finished. And now I'm gonna measure 10 degrees going down, which would take me over there. See how I measured 10 degrees like that. And then you can connect a six centimeter line. And so it'll take you up to there. And by the way, you might do this in a different order to me. The answer that you get will still be the same. Now that we have finished, we need to measure the distance from the start, which was over here, to the ending point, which is over here. And so if I measure that length from here to here, if I look on my ruler, it's about six centimeters. So if you're getting anywhere close to six centimeters, then that is good. Now it says that in our scale, one centimeter is one Newton. So it means that the resultant force will be six Newtons. But now we are not done. We need to measure the angle. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to extend this line a little bit just so I can easily read it off on my protractor because then I can take the protractor, put it at that starting position, and then I can measure the angle. So I can, I can look, whoops, that was the wrong button, is I can measure this whole angle and I get to about 81 degrees, I would say 81 degrees. So you would say six Newtons at 81 degrees, but be careful now, that's not the final answer. So what we have is this, if I draw a horizontal line like this and a vertical line, that 81 looks something like that. So you've measured this piece here as 81 degrees. So what do we call this line over here? Well, that is the east line and you have just gone above the east line. So you are going to say north of east. So we're going to say north of east. 